Hi, welcome to Linux channel. See, what I have with me is a Rockchip uh, SOC board. As you can see here, uh, this is the uh, front of the board, but the actual SOC is uh, behind this board. So, hope you can see here. Uh, this is the main SOC. Uh, let me it will move away so that you can get a focus. Okay. So, this is the board, and uh, you can see here uh, these are the specs. And uh, this board came for certain uh, evaluation, uh, especially the main SOC. And um, after completing the evaluation, it was just uh, lying out in a box. And I thought, uh, let me do a, a small video so that we can explore uh, something like this. And uh, uh, you know, we can see how far it is capable and stuff for any sort of network device like applications. <laughs> These are the specs. Uh, you can see here and also you can download various um, uh, operating systems and firmware and stuff uh, specifically built for this uh, board okay so this uh, came with uh, open wrt but the thing is uh, i'm currently not able to boot i need to perhaps reflash uh, uh, the sd card and then uh, we can try quickly and uh, see you know uh, what it can uh, do for us okay so i'm not interested to flash with ubuntu or something i'm just going to try today with open wrt so you can see here there are various uh, releases available and i have downloaded this uh, open wrt download and uh, we go here and we can see uh, this is the one and uh, hopefully this if i flash uh, uh, finger crossed it should uh, boot and work okay i'm not sure i need to check so what we do is uh, we just quickly flash this uh, sd card and then uh, you know we can test with the board and uh, you know long before when it came for evaluation i have done some quick tests you can see here and uh, this is the board in my true bench uh, you know this thing system benchmarking and you can see there this gave a result of 551 million or something like that this is a far more better than uh, raspberry pi 4 you can see there this is 646 and uh, lower is better because quickest time to complete is what i'm evaluating in my test so you can see that this came first and uh, you can see this is uh, just below this uh, old uh, nvidia jetson nano um, board and also this uh, beagle board, uh, beagle board uh, uh, black I guess so this is uh, you know this is given by one of my students I, I believe this is the beagle bone black which my student used to have okay so that's what it is so it is somewhere lying in the middle of raspberry pi 4 and this uh, jetson and beagle bone okay so let's just quickly flash this um, uh, you know firmware like this open wrt and uh, quickly we evaluate okay so let me connect it to this USB port and uh, to the then I enter. Select from a file to NAS. Yeah, we pick this image, it comes like a zip file and you can extract the same and uh, let me pick this uh, one this is the 32 gb drive select and we can flash see for uh, open wrt kind of use case uh, this is a overkill uh, even a raspberry pi 3 uh, should be more than enough and in some cases even old raspberry pi 2 even that is more than enough but if you want to really you know use some heavy duty operating system then obviously you can uh, check how far it performs with something like this ubuntu port okay and as well if you are interested you can try with android as well yeah see you can see the flashing is completed let's just uh, pull the card out and uh, eject and put it back so in open wrt uh, the config and other things will be stored in etc config so you can go here and we can check over here 
and you can see there there are few listed out here uh, there is not yet etc config network has been formed so sometimes uh, there is a possibility after you connect and boot it for the first time uh, there will be some script which can kick start and uh, do that for us okay based on that device it is connected okay hence that is the reason we are not able to see and as well if you want you can actually mount that extra unused space as overlay and things like that can happen so currently it is not there as you can see here and inside overlay it is also not mounted and uh, that's about it okay so what we do is we take it out and uh, let me connect it to the board uh, see the board also has a m.2 provision hope you can see here this is a m.2 port and uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure this is meant for the storage type of m.2 of course you will get also this wi-fi modules and lte modules of m.2 type okay it is not that so let me check in amazon the m.2 ssd uh, m.2 ssd so you can see there the key perfectly matches okay you have the small one here and this long strip over here and that's what it is actually you can see there right so that's what it is so this i don't think so you can connect any uh, wi-fi modules because that has a different key actually m.2 uh, lte module if you check it will have a different key uh, yeah hope you can see hopefully it should match because once you you know orient this way it should perhaps it should match right so this may match uh, and same way m.2 wireless card uh, yeah these ones uh, again it will not you know suit for this okay yeah again you can see that this is a different key it doesn't you know match in this type of a key okay so that's what it is hence i think this is mainly meant for you know storage so that you can uh, boot from the m.2 drive rather than using micro sd card so let's quickly boot the same i have checked earlier uh, the ethernet uh, port which has this uh, inbuilt in the board is configured as lan and of course so you have this uh, wi-fi uh, stuff and i have this uh, wi-fi antenna as well connected so you can see there okay so with that hopefully it should show some default wi-fi and uh, if i need uh, maybe a lan port a usb to ethernet adapter and i can connect somewhere here and it should give me perhaps a lan port so let me connect it and then do the first boot so that it can sort of pre-configure and it has this power button and a uh, small very small reset button and one thing i'm worried about is the board is too naked and if you do any mistake you can touch anywhere else while it is powered on okay so that is one thing i'm bothered so with that uh, as usual like uh, raspberry pi you have this small uh, gpio header but this is much smaller than what you get in raspberry pi it may be it's a mini version of whatever and that's about it uh, back side of the board you have the main soc and uh, you know maybe the rom and ram chips and stuff of course i'm going to share those uh, uh, links so that you can go through the specs and stuff okay so let's just put it this way and uh, let me connect uh, let me connect an ethernet cable over here so that it can get the wan port connectivity okay so again i'm not sure uh, when it is uh, booted for the first time it can uh, you know diagnose how many wired ports are connected perhaps it can assign this as wan port this time and this as lan port who knows that so let's just do that and uh, let me connect a good smartphone power brick so that we can have a, you know enough power to drive this board actually so this takes power via this usb type c connector and yeah it's just turned on see what i can do is uh, when it comes to uh, connecting via wireless uh, i can do via my laptop 
you can see here i can do via my laptop uh, but when it comes to connecting via wired port i can do via my pc i need to switch over to my pc and then try connecting via wired you know lan port so let me do one thing i can disconnect this uh, wireless thing and uh, wait for a while if it you know shows up or if it it is not configured uh, you know we, then we need to configure ourselves manually okay so that is quite uh, common with open wrt again i'm not sure uh, it, it is a, a complete uh, i mean it is a complete vanilla open wrt port or they have done some customization on top okay so we just need to see so it is not coming up here what i do is i can Uh, stop the screen capture here and then i can switch over to my laptop i'm sorry <laughs> to my pc yeah so this is my pc uh, what i can do is i can just uh, Yeah, this is configured as uh, DHCP, uh, but the problem is uh, it is not uh, going to show up anything. Uh, TP link I have configured earlier as a DHCP uh, because I am not sure what is the IP range it picks up. Uh. So usually OpenWRT has this 1.x subnet uh, when it comes to LAN ports. Um, but again since we are not sure either this side is the lan port or this side is the lan port we have no clue so there is one way we can uh, test this out uh, is uh, we can also you know uh, shut down this board okay we turn off this board perhaps this way yeah so this uh, you know another led is turned off and let me just turn it off yeah and then take this micro sd card and mount it on a pc and uh, you know guess its you know ip subnet range so let me do a screen capture here in the pc yeah and uh, we can just explore this you know mounted uh, file system as you see here uh, unlike before now you have to uh, you know mounted uh, partitions from the same micro sd card one is this 32 gb volume and this overlay is created the other one is this root fs you can see etc config there are no much files over there but if you go here and go to this overlay and this is what gets mounted on onto the actual stuff and if you see here network go to this network uh, uh, yeah the permissions are denied so let me go we are command line cd p1 cd overlay cd etc cd config chat wireless so you can see there the wireless uh, it has configured as such ssid open wrt c5 d1 something like that but again i'm not sure why this is not showing up on my uh, laptop I, okay we can check that later and uh, another thing is chat network uh, sudo chat network and you can see there uh, the lan port is 2.1 and it has this uh, wan port uh, and stuff like that but again having said the lan may constitute only the wireless you know interface but not the other wired interface so we have to check that uh, so with this it looks fine uh, the you know wan it is eth 0 so which may be the main uh, you know the one which is uh, Uh, you know inbuilt on the board itself okay this may be the wan port as i said earlier okay so we check that actually okay so with this uh, looks like it is fine and uh, you know it is 
uh, working fine. Uh, what we can also do is, so perhaps we can grab a smartphone and also we can see how we can, uh, you know, configure uh, or we can uh, access its, you know, Wi-Fi uh, port, if not via the laptop. So hence, I just kept it next to me. Okay. So the other alternate way is, of course, you can connect uh, this uh, HDMI port and keyboard and stuff. Uh, but again, I'm not sure whether they have, uh, you know, uh, uh, I mean, this firmware, whether it is uh, allowed to connect something like that or not. Okay. Hence. I am skeptical whether it will work. So this uh, said, uh, of course, if you want, you can uh, uh, go here and edit your, you know, sudo win uh, wireless settings. Uh, you can, if you want, you can change this encryption type and uh, stuff like that. So this, you know, is fine. So we can also do that alternatively. Okay. So we just do this. What I do is I just unmount eject and uh, we just you know boot it back yeah. remove this micro SD card put it over here